It's a relationship that's grown over the past 60 years, culminating in a special status agreement. Now, Kenya and Ethiopia want to strengthen it further. Ethiopia's Prime Minister, Hel Mariam Dessalane, arrived in Nairobi on a three-day state visit, barely a week after meeting Kenya's president on the sidelines of the European Development Forum in Brussels. After welcoming the Ethiopian Prime Minister, the two leaders, close friends, retreated for their bilateral meeting. Our two predecessors signed on behalf of our two countries a special status agreement to facilitate enhanced trade between our two countries. The Prime Minister and I continue to share a deep-seated commitment to creating ties between our economies and industries. We as a pillars in the Eastern Africa region, if we cooperate to the next high level, we can bring changes, uh, strategic changes that can take place in this uh, region. The two countries signed deals in the energy and gas sector, animal health, education and sports. They also agreed to build two pipelines connecting Addis and the port of Lamu and another from Nakuru to Hawassa. This latest deal comes barely three months after both Uganda and Rwanda cancelled infrastructure projects with Kenya opting for Tanzania, citing high costs. The two leaders also discussed border management and human trafficking. We have to work to pacify our region, and it is only Kenya and Ethiopia can make this region to be peaceful, prosperous, and, uh, and, and also uh, friendly to investment. Also discussed by the two leaders was security cooperation and deepening commitment to regional integration. Robert Nagela, CCTV, Nairobi, Kenya.